career by that. And from what I've seen, people in the UK haven't been too harsh on him. I don't think there's many people saying, oh, you're rubbish, you're never going to do anything, you're crap. Uh, there's people kind of getting behind him already, which is nice to see because we're, we're not very good at doing that when people lose in the UK, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, we'll, 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 see what, we'll see what happens because he's still got, a, still got a bright future ahead of him. Well, I looked at him and I saw uh, the Thailand fighter is a guy that's a professional amateur. And what I mean by that is he throws a lot of punches. He's a talented fighter, but I don't really see him. And now watch this guy's going to turn into a world champion and I'm going to look stupid. But I don't see him being a magnificent pro fighter. I view that as he ran into the guy that knew how to fight an amateur system fight. And he was a guy caught in between fighting a pro style and an amateur style, because I assume from the way you fought his fight, he's probably sparring a lot of pros that are in the six to eight round bracket Mm. or round thing. And it looked like he was kind of like getting going towards the end of the fight, which is more of a pro style. Yeah, no, look, I I think from what I've seen, I think that's, 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 that's a fair comment. Um, But I think that if, if McGrail kind of knew that about his opponent, then he should have been aware of it. That's what he should have prepared for. And then maybe he should have been a bit more prepared for the, for the fight. And maybe, maybe that didn't happen. Maybe that was one of the reasons why he was so, why he was so soundly beat. Like it wasn't a close, a close decision. It wasn't a close fight. Um, so yeah, no, I think, I think that's fair. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think that's an unfair comment. Okay, I'm going to throw a lot at you real quickly. So get ready to catch because there's just there's going to be a lot of nerf balls coming at you. So we're moving to the yeah. lightweight division. This is like the sexy. This is the sexy girl at the beach. Everyone's gawking at her, but everyone's super scared to try to do a cheesy pickup line to her because they just don't want to get that rejection and then think about how they're inadequate. So we got Keyshawn Davis in America. 